Hey everybody, Gibbo Arnold for Tito Murphy here with yes another Microsoft Flight Simulator quick fix video. Hope you're doing well. So Jepson 2001, the man, the myth, the legend, sent me a little custom scenery. Um, you may know him from such things as Casement Aerodrome, amazing, and Falcon Field Airport, equally amazing, and more besides. But yeah, he sent me this custom scenery, and uh, I'm dying to try it out. Now, he gave me the GPS coordinates uh, right below, and that gave me an idea for today's video. How do we use GPS coordinates? So we're going to cover how we actually navigate to GPS coordinates, and actually also how we find our GPS coordinates. So let's jump in without further ado. So like most things in the sim, there's a couple ways to do it, and I'm going to show you two. The first way to navigate to GPS coordinates is using the world map. So we're going to click on world map, and rather than choosing an ICAO that we usually do here, we're going to use the search feature. So all I do is pop in the GPS coordinates that Jepson has given me, click on custom, set as departure, and click fly. It's that easy. Here I am, folks, loaded in at the coordinates that Jepson has given me. And check it out. Check out what he's done. It's a custom scenery of the moon. Oh, yeah. It's got a runway. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at this. Jepson, you've done yourself. That looks so much fun. Now, I'm not going to spoil everything that's going on with this particular scenery. I'll let you download it and check it out for yourself. I do have to just a shameless little, little uh, mention. Give away. I got a mention. Oh yeah, it doesn't happen often. I'll take it. How much fun is that? Jepson, that is incredible. Link in the description below, folks. It's available for free for twotonemurphy.com members. If you're not a member, don't worry. It's free to sign up to and it's very easy as well. So Jepson, congratulations. What a scenery. That looks so much fun. Dying to land on that. <laughs> So folks, that's one way to navigate to GPS coordinates, which is using the world map right from the main menu. But there is another way as well, and you can do it within the sim. To do it, we're going to navigate to developers, and we're going to turn on developer mode, apply and save, and go back. So we go up here to Windows, and we'll go down to Teleport. So what have we got here? Under Teleport, we can go to a particular ICAO, or indeed, we can go to GPS coordinates. So, uh, for this, uh, I'll sh put in, go to ICAO of Dublin. And you, what you'll notice here is it does take a couple seconds just to load in uh, all the scenery, all the photogrammetry, etc. But a couple seconds later, and uh, we should have Dublin. There's Dublin Airport coming in. There it is, right below us. Super easy to uh, navigate to an ICAO, but we're talking GPS coordinates. So again, we'll pop in the GPS coordinates of uh, Jepson Scenery for 0054, and it is minus 73, 415, 438. And we can click go to lat long. Give it a second to load in as before, as, as it was at Dublin. Navigate around. Uh, that's not Jepson scenery. There's Jepson scenery right below us. So that's the second way that you can easily navigate to GPS coordinates. So what about finding GPS coordinates? Well, let's take a look at that next. So how about you want to find GPS coordinates? Well, there's two ways as well we're going to cover now. The first is using Google Maps. So let's say it's your own address. Here's where you pop it in. For this example, we're going to use Apple Cupertino. Just as the location to find some custom coordinates from. Okay, so to do it, all I do is right click on the location on the little uh, tag here, and I've got my coordinates. So let's pop them back into the sim. We'll go to teleport, and we'll just pop in these particular coordinates. It was 37, excuse me for going back and forth. Uh, 245 and here we had minus 222 03018 go to lat long and that's how you can find 
GPS coordinates using Google Maps of a location of your choice. Very handy to find your own address, I gotta say. Oh, there's Apple Loop. Right there, it's a custom scenery from flightsim.to. Definitely worth checking out if I change it to developer camera. That's pretty cool. We're checking out. Now, the second way to do it is again using the sim. So let's say I'm happy with this particular location and I want to find the GPS coordinates for it. So Google Maps is one way, but you can do it in the sim too. To do that, go to options, and all the way down here, we've got display position. Click on that, and boom, there's your latitude and your longitude right there in the sim for you. So folks, there's two ways to navigate to GPS coordinates and to locate GPS coordinates. And folks, that's it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider giving it a like. And of course, if you have any comments, please do leave them in the comments box below. Don't forget, to Tom Murphy himself streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 1900 Zulu, live on Twitch. It'd be great to see you there. And we're taking a slight pause in the Quick Fix series videos, not just because of the news vibe, but there's one or two other things that we just want to get out there for you uh, that are coming soon. And then we'll be straight back to this. So until then, thanks for watching. Take care.